Good evening and welcome to Servite Men's Chorus. My name is Mrs. Renee Cahill and I'm the director of the choral music department here at Servite and also the piano class instructor. I was born in Orange, California and I have two sisters and one brother. These are some of the interesting facts I told your sons about me when we first started together so that then they could tell me some interesting facts about themselves. I met my husband Paul in eighth grade and we're still married. They thought that was pretty fascinating. We have one daughter, two sons, and four grandchildren. After graduating from Orange High School, I went on to major in music at Cal State Fullerton, and my main instrument is piano, and I began teaching piano when I was 13 years old. This is my seventh year at Servite High School, and I love it here. I love an all-guy atmosphere. The brotherhood is something that I've never experienced anywhere. Having come from another school that I was at for 15 years and having the drama of young ladies, it's a blessing to be here and um, work with your sons. My husband, Paul, and I love to travel in our RV this year. First time I saw a bear in the sequoias and we love fishing in Mammoth Lake. I also love photography and making videos, so the boys know a lot of my devotions I share are pictures from our own travels around California, and I share a lot of it on Instagram, and if you want to follow us, Servite Choir, I'll share some of the thoughts we've had in class and some of the experiences that we have. It's kind of fun. We have three wonderful kids that live in three different states. We do a lot of driving. Our daughter, Sarah, is in Arizona with her husband, Ricky, who's a firefighter, and Sarah's a fifth grade teacher. And our two wonderful grandsons, Bryson, fourth grade, and Colton, second grade. Then we moved to Texas, where Kyle and Carlisle live with our new little Hazel, who just turned two yesterday. And he's the director of contemporary worship at a Lutheran church in Spring, Texas. He's a guitarist and a vocalist. And our youngest, Eric, is a Las Vegas firefighter paramedic and he lives in Boulder City, Nevada with his wife, Mary, and Jameson. We just were out there this weekend. And so we do a lot of driving and flying and traveling to see these wonderful grandkids and kids. But this is what I call my job. And it's a joy to have this as a job to work with your men um, on the stage and in the classroom. They can be crazy at times. Here's just a little taste of craziness. Let's see if it'll play. <laughs> their own choreography to go with that little warm-up number. Whether they're on the stage, here was last year when we did a special 9-11 uh, tribute um, with a select choir singing in mass, which to get all these men, to have these many men in choir, hopefully their voices are carrying out there. And football games, national anthems, baseball games, we are everywhere you can find us singing and um, sharing our gifts throughout the community. Here's at the Mother's Day of Reflection over at Christ Cathedral this last year. Um, so it was, we had our Christmas concert, which was awesome, and I pray that we can have one this year. Um, it's an experience. This is a production. This isn't just a regular high school Christmas concert. All the dads usually say afterwards that it was so different than they expected, with lights and cameras and sound and backdrops and costumes. Um, we have a good time. So Christmas concert, I'm praying we can have because it's such a blessing and I'll hold off starting to learn Christmas music until we make sure that things are happening. We supply all their fancy ties, we supply a choreographer so we can add a little movement. Although they're not sure at first whether they really want to partake in this adventure, they usually have a blast and it ends up being a great thing on the stage and the parents are all just shocked beyond belief to see their sons doing this. Then in the spring, we usually have a, patri a spring concert, which starts patriotic and goes into Broadway. And we were planning some great things this last year with nothing like a dame from South Pacific. Again, a choreographer comes in to make some crazy fun stuff happen. And then school ended and we had to go to online teaching. So we worked on doing some online music and I hope to do a few more videos like this um, as we get going and preparing. But we're also gonna be touching the piano a little more this year. I told the boys today, they watched a video um, about the piano and I said, as we are stuck without um, the ability to sing, we might as well learn some kind of music. These, these are all the different areas that I have choir members from. Whether it's any of these sports, any of these activities, cross-country swim, rugby, JSA, soccer, lacrosse, there's somebody in each of those areas, and it's very exciting. These last few years, it's usually between 120 and 130 men, probably a little lower this year, 
but all together it makes for a very amazing sound. Um, again, coming back to the classroom situation, it's a great place. This is our classroom, so you know what it looks like since you couldn't come in tonight. Um, obviously, we're spread out now with um, anywhere from 8 to 16 in the class, and it's like a double class, so it's a nice, huge size, not an issue at all. Um, we just keep praying that things will loosen up and we'll be able to, and people will stay healthy and we'll be able to have a Christmas concert because that is a special thing you'll want to invite all your relatives to. Every day we start out with some kind of devotion or a verse of the day. The first week we talked about be strong and then we said have faith and then the next week was smile and try to be positive. And then last week um, was be patient. Now we're talking about character. Today we were talking about character all week as we had our first test. Um, and they're all doing very well, actually. The first two days are amazing. And we usually try to tie a Bible verse into that so they can get an idea of these men of Servite have character that's just unheard of when I work at other places and see students out in the community. It's very impressive, and um, I'm thankful every day for being here. Once we have our opening together and do a few things together, then we break off and the Zoom group will go to have a some kind of assignment and um, usually a video that I put together today was piano and like I said watching how a piano is made and, and how a little bit of the history of it and then do some kind of an assignment. Um, they are did fantastic as I said on music terms quiz the other two classes are coming up but we also do a lot of active listening as a musician I want them to know the terms I'm treating it as if if you took a junior college class or a college university class I went and looked online at what it takes to pass music 101 um, music appreciation class. And so that's what we're concentrating on with our music terms, our note reading, our music reading, and our active listening. Um, whether it goes verse, chorus, bridge, another chorus, we just listen to songs and try to figure out what's going on. And hopefully we'll start singing soon with masks and in the volume of speaking, nothing super loud. I have started singing in our select choir because we have a smaller group in each of the two halves of the class and they um, are used to singing and they can handle the mask singing a little better than some of the guys in men's chorus. So last but not least, our course grading. This was all in the management plan, but class participation and worksheets and assessments and quizzes, exams, and if we have the performances, all go into course grading. I've told them all there's no reason for anyone to not have an A in choir. That would be silly, but I did have it happen once last year, and that's the first time in my seven years here. Um, you really have to have a lazy spirit and maybe a bad attitude to get anything less than an A in choir. And I'll be reaching out to you if there's any problems. They would have two calendar commitments if it's able to happen and they would be on weeknights and we work them around athletics. Um, we've had kids come running over last year. There was a, for the Christmas concert, there was a huge wrestling tournament going on and half the guys were over there watching and then got on the stage in time to sing their songs. So spring, sometimes we have baseball or track in the way, but we make it work for everybody. There is a fee, as it said in the management plan, of $40 for men's chorus, but I'm really holding off on that. I don't want to collect any money from any of you at this point until we see if we're going to have a concert in, in, at Christmas time. Do I hire a choreographer? Our live band would be um, drums, bass, guitar, two keyboards, costumes, props, buying the actual music, although I will be doing, I have been doing, um, a lighting designer, sound We don't know what we're going to need yet. So I really want to hold off on taking any more um, money because I know you've got enough going right now. Just we're so glad they're here at Servite. And we will um, take a look at that as we go along. A worst case scenario for the first semester, we could charge a small $5 entrance for the concert if we do have a concert and that would help cover all the costs. So we're working on that. Please feel free to email me anytime at rkhillservitehs.org. Um, I'm very good at returning emails, not so much on the phone calls in here, because I just don't use this office phone much. So email me with any questions or concerns, um, and I will be emailing you if I have any questions or concerns. I am just thrilled to be working with your sons. I'm looking forward to a fantastic year, and uh, blessings to you. Keep healthy, keep safe, and have a great week. Thanks.